green text on this one but I'll tell the story. This is a true story of some events that happened in fall 2011 to winter of 2012. It shocked me as a kid and I get chills just thinking about it. No bullshit. Here it goes. So me and three other friends lived in some Native American apartments as kids. It was a low-budget income-based complexes that a certain tribe rents to anyone with native blood. It was a Cherokee area with woods surrounding the place for more than a few miles. With a river nearby. The woods had lots of bunkers abandoned after World War II because the army had a base to keep German pals during the war. Just so you guys know the woods gave me weird vibes even as a small child growing up there. I'd go fishing by myself, yeah I was that kid at 11 and always feel like I was being watched. Every time I could feel something's presence. Even when me and my uncle, who lived in the apartments near me, would go night fishing for catfish and I'd tell him we're being watched everybody thought I was just a paranoid kid. So anyways enough of the scenery let's begin. So it was fall 2011 and I was about 13 my grandparents lived a complex or two down from my friend with my uncle at the time. Me and my friends would always go out and smoke weed in the woods for fear of our parents knowing, at least mine and my other friend. We'll call these friends Joe, Joseph and Brad so not to disclose any names. Anyways we would always spend time in the woods at night sometimes smoking and looking for UFOs that we occasionally seen here and there. We did this day after day and everything was fine. Until one day out in the woods across the fence. The complexes were fenced in from the surrounding woods, my friends came across this makeshift shelter made from woods and stuff. Now at first we thought it was maybe just some illegals or someone staying out there in the woods. You could tell by looking at it that whoever made it was really really unhumanly strong because there was small but thick trees bent the fuck over into this weird hut so to speak. We never thought anything of it at all as being teenagers high at the time. They found this one day without me but Brad went and showed me one day. I freaked out after actually seeing it in person. I'd quieted it at first. Probably because of the weird rumors I heard around the apartments, that I only halfest believed at the time. Anyways after that about a week later. Joe and Brad were sitting on Joseph's back porch real late at night. Joseph lived a few houses down from my grandparents on top of a small hill by the fence overlooking the woods. Joseph was in his room at the time. I was gone at my home the night this happened. It was probably 1 to 2 a.m. Joe and Brad hear this cat scream. At first they thought it was a cat fight like usual and started to look towards the woods because there was a pole light by the hill so you could see so far into the woods at night. But the cat made a shriek noise like something was after it. It scampered through a hole in the fence running. Out of nowhere this thing runs through the hole in the fence right behind it and chases the cat into these bushes. They hear another squeal from the cat and a loud, snap, noise. The thing comes out of the bushes with the cat in its mouth walking like a ape with its arms instead of its legs. It seemed unaware that it was in civilization and looked around for a few seconds. It seen Joe and Brad on the back porch and let out this hollering sound. Like this large shriek that made them turn white from fear. I'd cow it did this with the cat in its mouth but I continued to scream for about 5 seconds and slowly walk towards them like a ape. By this time Joe and Brad are heading for the screen door. It then realized more where it was at and turned around and ran, when it ran this time it made a loud thumping noise like a bear when it runs, on its legs and fucking clears this 8 foot barded wire fence like it was nothing. This thing was bipedal whatever it fucking was. When it chased the cat it was running on its legs after it. But when it went to jump the fence it somehow gained its speed to jump while walking like a ape, thus the thump noises. From what they said it looked like a dog running on its two back legs when it ran on its legs. I'd quote this thing fucking was but it gave me chills just thinking of it. Joseph heard the thumping noises and a slight scream and met them at his back door. Their faces were white as fuck. From what I've gathered it was some sort of fucking bipedal beast. From online research it seems like a devil monkey from what I hear. Now keep in mind at this time I didn't see it in person. So at first I didn't fully believe them because they liked to fuck with me. But then I got to thinking of all the weird shit that happened out there. 
Fast forward to three months. Winter 2012 Yes, see out there in these woods there was this trail PPL made for fishing at the nearby river. There was these three rocks me and my friends always chilled at to smoke to sit on. Me and my uncle was walking in the woods looking for deer tracks since there was snow on the ground. I as I walk by the rocks I see this very strange track. I went and showed my uncle, I told him what Joe and Brad see but he thought I was just a dumb high teenager. And he started to believe me on what was out there. The fucking track gave me chills down my spine just looking at it it was right where our chill spot was. It looked like a Ike. It's hard to explain but it was a track that want animal with a large talon on the back of its paw or whatever. It wasn't no fucking animal I'd ever seen and right then I built Joe and Brad's story. I would've took a picture but me being 13 I was more worried about getting home safely. And I didn't have my phone on me too. I'd why the fuck I didn't go back home and go back and take a picture to show Joe and Brad, probably because I was scared shitless. This is what it looked like even though it's a poor sketch. I remember the way it looked in my head it's just hard to accurately draw it out because it was so long ago. The small triangles were the claw indentions from the snow. That's what gave me the chills the most was the fucking claw indentions I could see in the snow. And that back talon give me the creeps. After that I believed what they saw and so did my uncle. He had been hunting his whole life so me seeing him get white in the face like that as a kid and rush us home out of the woods was probably what stopped her me from taking the picture because it would have been dark by the time I would have got back. And fuck going in those woods alone now. I don't go in no woods after dark no more. Old natives used to tell me never to go in the woods at night and I see why now. Fuck all that. I never seen it in person like Joe and Brad did but right around the time that happened in late summer of 2011 before they seen it me and my uncle was out catching catfish after midnight when something not even 15 behind us lets out that awful screech sound. We packed the fuck up and left after that. I thought that it was maybe a bear until I heard it yell a second time as we were reeling bin our fishing poles. We never really brought it up to nobody because there was so many stories like that from our neighbors that we though nobody would believe us. I wish I would've had that picture if it's track for y'all to have physical evidence but I was scared as fuck especially being 13. And then here recently which is what made me remember the whole deal my father was talking about when him and his high school buddy were driving in that area when something ran across the road in the night in front of them. I know it was spooky enough for my dad to bring it up 20 years later. He was like I wonder what that thing was it scared the shit out of us he always said it looked like a bear but it wasn't. I asked him afterwards was it running like a ape? And he backed up and his eyes got big as fuck and he said how the hell did you know that? And I told him the story. From what I've read up on. It seems to me to be the mythical creature called the devil monkey. I know from what I've read about the Choctaw creature it seems spot on with this one I can't pronounce. Anybody ever had anything similar happen? I live in Oklahoma by the way. I've heard some shit man about shit out in the woods that'll throw rocks at you to make you leave. I have a native friend that swears up and down Bigfoot or something was throwing rocks at him when he was at a creek.